How weird. How... How very strange. I changed... The IP that my traffic was going to. And I suddenly don't have bandwidth issues anymore. Wow. 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 That's so weird. That's so strange. It's like... My connection was being throttled. Weird! So weird that that just fixed it immediately. How fucking strange. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, hello. Greetings. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a quest, Chief. You got anything you need help with? Oh, there's something I could use some help with. I'm here on behalf of the Current Council to investigate some unusual happenings in Port Piscarilius. What you investigating, buddy? Port Piscarilius is home to various gangs. They're a nuisance, but up to now we haven't had much trouble in dealing with them. So... What's the problem? A new gang calling themselves the Saviors of Kurun is recently formed. It's not surprising, as gangs come and go all the time, but this one's different. And, uh, how so? Saviors of Kurun have been absorbing many of the other gangs. Within a few weeks, they've already become the largest gang in Kurun, and more join them each day. The talk amongst the people is that it's all down to their leader, a mysterious figure known only as the Queen of Thieves. That's a pretty neat name, so why doesn't the leader of Port Piscarilius do something? Shauna Piscarilius is the leader of Port Piscarilius, but she spends most of her time gallivanting around in that boat of hers rather than looking after her home. Oh, that's fair enough. Alright, so what do you need me to do? Kill them all? I'm good at murder. Well, my original plan was to infiltrate the gang to get close to the Queen and apprehend her. However, I've been unable to make any progress. Apparently, I don't look the part. Yep, I don't know. You, uh, you absolutely look like all of the literal pirates and fucking peasants and poor-looking women and poor-looking people around here in Port Piscarillius. I'm not sure I'd be, you know, bumping up there. Quite right. They're quite insistent, though, so someone else will have to give it a go. You look like you might be just the type they're after. You look poor. Fuck you. Tomas Lowry? Well, you look poor. Not wrong, though, I guess. Anyway, if you have to the task, you need to infiltrate the saviors of Kurin, find the Queen of Thieves, apprehend her, and then bring her to me. So, you up for it? Uh... Sure, buddy, that sounds... I mean, I like quests. Excellent. The saviors of Kurin must have their headquarters somewhere nearby. You should ask around town and see if anyone knows where they are. Good luck. Okay. Well, if I've learned anything about RPGs, is that we talk to the beggars, because that's how you learn everything. We got like 50k from the pyramid. But yeah, I had 400k from doing the pyramid, but that's like, yeah, that's fucking pennies in RuneScape. Hello, poverty! Hi there, I'm looking for the saviors of Curran. You know where I can find him? Keep your voice down! You have no idea who might be listening. Oh, sorry. Hey, you know where I can find him, though? Like, for serious? No, I don't! I keep my distance from that lot. However... Word on the streets is that Robert O'Reilly's been working for them. Perhaps he could help you. He lives in the middle of town. Hey, that, that's very helpful. Thank you, random peasant. I didn't even have to fucking give you money, which is great, because I don't have any. Should probably bring my person-slapping sword. What for the apprehension? Yeah, you're not rich unless you're, like, at the billions in Redscape Gold. And even that's not rich. That's just, like, well enough, uh, well off enough. Robert, oh, Robert O'Reilly. Hello, Robert O'Reilly. You are a poor person with a name. Hey, I'm looking for the savers of current. You want to help me out here? Yeah, I can help you. Yeah, for free, though. Not what you want. Well, it's been too long here since I've eaten some proper food. All we get around here is fish. Bring me a nice stew and I'll help you out. Oh, dude. Fucking. Hold on. I think I'm about to 10 out of 10 home run this bitch. I'm about to knock this shit out of the fucking park. Because you know what? I'm pretty sure I just stuffed in my bank when Gertrude gave it to me. It's a fucking single stew. Oh, yeah. 
I sure as shit don't know how to make this. So, you know, this worked out real well in my favor. Oh. Easiest game I've ever played, honestly. I just fucking stupendous. Stupendous, indeed. You got my stew? Here you go, Chief. It's been it's probably real cold. It's been sitting in the bank vault for like two weeks. Oh, hand it over. Okay. Give Robert O'Reilly some stew? Thanks. Hey, savers of Kura make their home in a place called the Warrens. You can find it in the sewers down beneath us. Hey, thanks. I'll go... Crawl in a sewer. I guess. How do I get it? Where do I get in the sewer? Oh, it's literally helpfully labeled just the Warrens. It's not even a sewer. To the manhole! How do you have a sewer under the beach? Aha! Just finished an Extinction Curse episode to directly go into a RuneScape stream! Neat! Welcome, Grizzurfing. And perfect fucking timing. The secret is that I'm always streaming RuneScape. Oh. Probably this giant camp over here. Aha. A shopkeeper. I would like to browse your wares. Oh, yeah. It's literally the same as every other general store on Gilinor, but it that one's a task. I mean, we could also just quest over here, I suppose. Yeet. I don't even want it. It's one of the T-pose on these thieves. Assert fucking do- oh. No, can I? Stop. I'd like to- oh, go through- oh, it's a door I have to go through. Hey! I didn't give you permission to go in there. Oh. Hey, are you the Sabres of Corrin? That's right, right here. What business do you have with the Saviors? I wanted to be a gang. Can I be a gang? So, <laughs> you think this is some kind of a game? We don't just let anyone join our gang. You want anyone to prove your worth. All right, what do you need me to do? I can, I murder, I just stole that fish. See that fish on the floor? I put it there after I stole it. No. Since our formation, many of the other gangs in Korin have joined our cause. However, some still choose to resist. Our largest rivals are the Viper and our leader. Queen of Thieves? Shut up and let me finish! Our leader's had enough of the Vipers and wants to make an example of them. Will you send a message to the Vipers to let them know their days are through? We'd like you to kill Conrad King. Oh, I'm great at killing. One of their senior members. That should show them their games are over. Hold on. Did you say murder? Yes. Like murder them to death? Yes. All the way? Yes! There's a problem. No, I'm fucking great at this, dude. This is like the best possible thing he could have asked for. <laughs> Not even a dialogue choice, by the way. You just say that. Good. You'll find Conrad King south of Piscarillus Food Hall. News travels fast around here, so we'll know what indeed when he will know when he's been murdered in broad fucking daylight. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go kill a man. Here I go, killing again. God, I love murder. Boots are fly. They're pretty spectacular, aren't they? Very stylistic, my beautiful rainbow killing boots. I use them for killing. What's the food hole? Oh, the store that says food on it, probably? Alright, hold on, I need my killing suit. Or at least my killing sword. It's gonna be difficult without the killing sword. Or I could just do all of this magic I just learned how to do. Nah, I'd like the killing sword, please. I always go the wrong tab because I'm stupid. Uh, murdering sword? Eh, we'll put the murdering suit on, fuck it. It's time to kill a guy to death. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, fine. I'll put on fucking block. I need defense XP. I need to get to 40 defense real bad. The Rainbow Boots are about to have some more red on them than they used to, which is, I think, zero. They're, oh, no, there's toes. They got little red toes. The little toe parts are red. They're otherwise very pastel. But they do have a splash of red. I'm going to give them a splash bar. We're going down here, I guess. Fate of the Thieves, you know the name of the quest I'm on? 
Uh, yes, hello, I'm here to murder Conrad King. Has anybody seen Conrad King? I'm gonna kill him to death. Port official, man. Hey, this is uh, not what I'm after, but while you're a randomly, while there's a man standing literally next to the government, you have a talisman? Nobody does have three dollars. We can keep that. I really was just curious if you had a talisman on you. Okay, 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 okay. A pirate. There's a mugger. These guys look like they're fine. Those are just, you know, average. Poor Piss Gorilla, it's members. It's the guys who are trying to conceal their stuff that are usually up to something. What is the food hall? Is this the food hall? Is this not the food hall? Ah, murder Conrad King. That's exactly what I want to do. I'm starting to feel like uh, I didn't need all of the killing equipment. Seeing as he's wearing full plate armor and standing very close to the water. Hello, sir. I'm here to murder you. How would you like to kill him? <laughs> Chat? How do we like to kill this man? His fate is in our hands. The fate is death. He's gonna die regardless. But are we gonna, like, brutally murder him, or are we gonna gently murder him? Kill him dead? Well, it's gonna be dead regardless. Either way, he's gonna kill him dead. We're still gonna kill him. Brutality. We are here to send a message, after all. We're gonna brutal- I'd like to brutally murder this man. <laughs> you brutally murder Conrad King. Oh, well, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Here I am wearing all this dude murdering gear. I didn't even need to put on my dude killing armor. I could have just like walked up and killed him to death. <laughs> Sexy fruits hell. All right, well, he's been brutally murdered. That's probably one of the easiest murders I've ever committed. Somehow easier than killing the just regular go away insects. Level two men. Hey, I came here in all my murdering gear with the soul with the blood fresh on my sword. So you can see how murdered that guy is. Protagonist, by the way. <laughs> what do you think the alignment of the protagonist in RuneScape is? It's like the S rank exhibit chaotic neutral, right? I just do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> this is peak chaotic neutral, surely. No word on the streets is Conrad King's met his maker. Queen's impressed. You should head on in and speak to her. Yep, I murdered the fuck out of that guy. Hello! It is I, the protagonist. What's up? You're the one who killed Conrad King. Not bad, but you don't look like much to me. I am wearing mithril full plate with a fucking five foot long adamantine greatsword. You'd be surprised. Uh, is it the boots? It's the boots, isn't it? No, I wouldn't. I've seen hundreds of fools like you and you're all the same. I thought you'd be sticking around here very long. Then neither will you. On behalf of the current council, I am arresting you, woman lady. Wow. You truly are a complete fucking idiot. Allow me to enlighten you. While you may have been told the saviors of Kurin are evil, the truth's quite the opposite. Before we came along, Kurin was filled with violent gangs who cared little for their victims. And you're... different? Shut up and let me speak! God, everyone just keeps yelling that at me today. Yes, the saviors of Kurin are thieves. Saviors of Kurin are murderers. Uh, we don't randomly pick our targets. Everything we do has a purpose. Which is... what? Name isn't a joke. We're here to save Kurund. To save it from the corruption that's tainted this once great kingdom. We do that by taking from those who adore themselves over the people. We remove their power and give it back to those who keep this kingdom alive. But you call yourself a queen, isn't that kind of ironic? It's not lost on me. In truth, I didn't want to lead it at all, but it fell to me because I'm the best at it. Being born a Piscarilius means you have to be. Wait a minute. You're part of the actual royal family of Piscarilius? I am Piscarilius. 
Of course, Lady Shauna Piscarillius couldn't well take charge of a gang, so I took on a different name. One of the rich and degenerates are already starting to fear. Alright. So you are actually both... You are... Okay. So you are the actual... Literal queen of poor Piscarillius. And also the queen of the Sabres of Curran gang. So, so I just believe this and assume it's not bullshit. You're fairly new to Curran. So you might not be aware of our current leadership situation. After the last king died, rulership should have passed on to his daughter. However, she was declared mad. It was the king's closest advisors that declared her mad. They took over and became the Curran Council. They've ruled the kingdom ever since. The council is supposedly voted on by the people every four years. However, the seats have been held by the same four people since the council was founded. Pretty suspicious, don't you think? That does sound odd. Exactly. The council is clearly corrupt, and we intend to bring that to light. Councillor Hughes is our first target. We have reason to believe she may be in league with the disciples of Yama. Go to her home, find proof of her corruption. If you find it, you'll know I'm telling the truth. And if you don't... Well, don't pretend you care about breaking and entering anyway. Alright, fine. I'll get, okay, I'll just go ahead and believe this at face value. But if you're wrong, I'm sticking my murdering sword through your body until you're murdered. I'm gonna pretend you didn't tell me that. Councillor Hughes' home is on the northern side of Kingston. Even a fool like you should be able to find it. Don't worry, she's never in. Once you have the evidence, give it to that Lowry fellow. Provided he's not quite as useless as you, he'll make sure that she's dealt with. Now get lost. Alright. This seems perfectly reasonable Welcome, to me. Squidling, to the squidding pool. Perfectly normal activity is going on Squid here well, with counselor corruption and stuff. And online to do 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 do. 82 months in the pool. You with the shiniest squidling. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for the almost seven years. You are getting real close. Well, Kingston's not that far away, I suppose. So we're gonna run over there, and then I'll take all my armor off, because it's very heavy and makes me not run very much. I actually really like the... the lore they've got going in Kurind. Zaya and Kurind are super fucking neato. The quests all actually tie together. There's a shitload of lore. And NPCs you can talk to to know things. That's pretty fucking cool. I believe the last thing I actually have to do is move my house to Hesidius, which is kind of useful anyway, because it means that if I want to continue... If I want to continue leveling my construction through uh, Mahogany Homes, I'll actually have a teleport to the shitty Hesidius houses via my house teleport. I need my money first, though. I gotta hit the bank. Right, I, this guy doesn't deal in... Hey, can I move my house here? I promise there's money in my bank and I'll give it to you someday. I need this. The pool voted on the official lore of the new hat. What? The seven-year hat? We have the seven-year hat. That's... Numerous people already have it. One of them is in this very chat. With several badges next to his name. I guess I can just put all this shit away, because it's turned out to not be necessary. The guy was dramatically easier to murder than I expected him to be. Pretty sure it was 8,000. God damn that button. God damn it didn't even close the second time I clicked it. There. What's up, Peter C. DeWill? How you doing? I know they have it for, like, the lore behind the head. Well... All we know is what we've seen. And the truth of the mysteries behind the seven-year hat and the related adventure. I suppose are known only to those who have undertaken it. Hello, estate agent. I would like to move my house to Hesidius, which is actually just really... 8750, son of a bitch. Slightly more than 8k. So here's the real question, though. Do I just buy a new microphone? Or do I accept that I'm a fucking dumbass? 
and a, a new microphone is not going to fix any of my problems because it's not a hardware issue. I just have no idea what I'm doing. I could actually test that. I could test that because this is a brand new headset. I could test that with the headset mic. Because the quality of the mic is largely irrelevant. It's just whether it gets the same clipping and crackling when I get loud. Because if so, it's I'm an idiot. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, I'd like to move my house, sir. Did I not do it? Interior house. Okay, now I have to go into it. Okay. What I could do... Here's a thought. And I want to tell you right now. I'm pretty sure that... While I'm walking down there, I'm going to try a Hail Mary I just thought of. And... Doing that... Is gonna... Oh, it actually doesn't. Surprisingly, that... Still allows my voice to come through. If I... Oh, hello. I'd like free things. Thank you. Thank you for the shittiest gem that exists. I appreciate you. All right. Let me... Let me see. 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 Oh. Oh! Hold on. I might be a genius. What happens if I do this? Does... Does that stop the clipping? Does it? That's the, that's the first button I've ever touched. That I feel like is... Is actually possible that I have solved the problem. Ah! Okay, it's still kind of peaking. I could even go a little further. We could go to, like, here? In the, the dumpster of the tiny voice. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it back again. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make loud noises. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it back again. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make loud noises. That sure doesn't fucking sound like it's clipping, chat. Did I do it? Did I fucking do it? No way. No way I actually fucking- No fucking way I fixed it. That sure doesn't sound like it's clipping at all. I think we fixed it. You touched the computer setting it didn't explode your computer. Not only did I not explode my computer. I think I fixed it. Now, if I switch this back here? Oh my god, I think we're chilling, dude! I think I fixed the clipping! My brain is really fucking smooth, but it's... It only took, like, a year! I just had a, like, Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Of where I might be able to find the raw volume setting that I was looking for. And it- I think it worked! Bruh, this is monumental. Local man gained a brain wrinkle. That was a five seconds of hoedown. Here to share with the class. Yeah, I went into Windows. I went into Windows sound devices and sound settings. Uh, where all of my stuff's running through voice mixer. My microphone is picked up directly by, vo by voice uh, voice meter rather sorry voice meter the virtual audio cables because it just makes everything much easier democracy is a lie it's time for a cake oh okay uh, anyway and I I switched my default audio device from the voice meter uh, filter mic uh, yeti into the yeti raw and then went into the windows gain and volume control and just kept turning that down until Windows didn't think it was peaking and then put it back to voice meter taking it and I think I I think I fixed it 
I, I haven't checked if switching it back still functioned. Didn't think it was peaking. And then put it back to voice meter taking it. And I think I, I think I fixed it. I, I haven't checked if switching it back still- It is a little, but only if I'm like really fucking loud. And like, obviously if I'm incredibly loud, it's gonna clip. That's pretty hard to avoid. I have completed all the easy tasks in my current in Kibo's achievement diary. Well done. Tell me what in your reward then. I don't know why you're Irish, but yes. This blessing is a symbol of your exploration of Great Curran and the Kibo Slowlands. You have a 2% chance of catching two fish while using the blessing. And it provides three daily teleports to the Curran Woodlands. You can access Crabclaw Island for half the price. Lizard men are more likely to drop a Xerix talisman. And Odin in the fourth dose dungeon will now tan hide for you at eight times the normal price down from ten times. That's great, but I... It still doesn't sound like I'm going to be using him, but thank you. Shit. I can't put this into... It has to be 30, right? I did it again. I don't have any skills that are at 30 that I want to lamp. I guess crafting. We're lamping something stupid right now because I once again was not prepared. I really need to get like construction and herblore to 30 or runecraft. Probably herblore. Every like I seriously think that long term herblore is going to be the one that sucks the most. I really need to work on getting my herb lord to 30 so I can put all these lamps in herb lord. But for now, I guess crafting, because crafting is also kind of a pain in the ass to level at this point. The fuck it, I'll take 2500 crafting XP. 32, yay! Almost to 33. Those are big fucking lamps. Okay, so we want to go back to Castle Town. But I now have... Does this do anything stat-wise? It doesn't. This is just the teleports. I now have a teleport here. So it's much easier to get to uh, Kurin now. There's a lot of words. Northern side of Kingston. Okay, well... Like two buildings here. And this one's gigantic. It looks like a senator lives in it. Uh, Hello. Do you have any incriminating evidence that I could possibly have from you? Just close all the fucking ground in that dumpster. There's a chest. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. You still an important looking letter. Okay. Okay. Child of Yama. I have left the items you requested at the usual drop-off, courtesy of the current treasury. It goes without saying, but I trust you'll make our master aware of whose funding has returned. Regards, Sophia Hughes. Well, fair enough. Yep. He's a disciple of Yama. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like some Dark Lordy shit, so I'm going to assume that's bad. Oh, I'm the protagonist. That means I have a... I have a universal warrant. I'm allowed to break into any home. It's part of the. It's part of my contract. They got a paper here that says I can. I can do whatever the fuck I want. When did RuneScape go War for the Crown? Manja, I'm telling you, Kurin is fucking dope. Like it's just really cool. All the quests here are actually awesome. It's the only place in all of RuneScape that feels cohesive. Like you do a bunch of quests out here in Kurin. They actually relate to each other in a way that makes sense. It's like a zone in a World of Warcraft. The quests all kind of interlock in a lot of ways. They're all pertaining to the corruption of the council and like exposing more of it and learning about this and setting up. Like there's just so much lore and flavor and background text in Kurin. And all these quests and like lead you through so much actually cool lore. It's not just like, hey, can you bring me 20 balls of wool, please? Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Greetings. What can I do for you? Uh, this quest, right? You remember you hired me to do this? Right, you're that poor woman. 
that was the things that I told you to do? Well, I haven't found the Queen of Thieves, but I found a letter that's probably interesting to you. Blimey! Forget the Queen of Thieves, if this is to be believed. Counselor Hughes is working with the Disciples of Yama. I must report this to the Council immediately. What's a Disciple of Yama? A group of deranged cultists that worship some sort of demon. They're not a big threat compared to the Lizardmen, but they're still an enemy of Corinth. And Counselor Hughes is helping them, so that's bad. I must report this to the Council immediately. So can I get paid? You've done a great service to the people of Corinth. And there is no greater satisfaction than the reward itself of a job well done. Now, nope, anyway, I have lots of things to do. Oh, I guess I gotta kill him. Sorry, I don't make the rules. How many law rings do I have? 21. I'm willing to spend 11 law runes on this upcoming venture. Nine La runes, because I only have nine waters. I put on my robe and wizard hat. I'm gonna go straight from here. Hey, the shield also is super fucking important. Definitely gonna require the shield. I'd like the ecto file, because we are in shit goes wrong fast territory. Uh, I'd like, like, I don't know. Six cakes, probably. Eh, I like four cakes. Okay. Got my attack. Firebolt. Okay. Some dickhead tell Cassandra to fuck off, yeah, and then I set him on fire. Nope, can't do that, unfortunately. And the accuracy, got my shitty aging gear on, which is just a hat and a robe, because warding didn't pass. Some dickhead told Sandley the real reward was the friends he made along the way. Is there any more of that quest? Oh, there is. I have so completed my task for Lady Piscarilli, so I should go let her know. If the completion screen doesn't pop up, you're not done. I'm just going to teleport directly from here to the next order of business. I need a way to access law runes. Also, water runes. Uh, what I should do before I leave Coorind is buy at least a pack of water runes and earth runes, just because I don't fucking have any. I can buy those at any rune store. Those are cheap enough, I don't I don't give a shit. Alright, Lady Piscarilius. Good news. I have done... Oh, I should not have these on. Carry my socks, I guess. They give me minus three magic. Anything else is minus magic other than possibly the shield. It's not. I have to wear it anyway. Lady Shauna Piscarilius, Queen of Piscarilius. Hey, accounts my Hughes has been arrested. Perhaps you're not totally useless after all. You know, you're kind of a piece of shit. Now give me a break. You think I You think I fucking care? Anyway, this is the part where we expect some kind of payment, isn't it? I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Fine. As much as I hate to admit it, you've done all right. The rest of Counselor Hughes can only mean good things for Kurin and her people. This is only the beginning, though. There's much work to still be done. Maybe we'll call on your help again, or maybe I won't. Who knows? Now take these and go. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey. Why are you still here? Well... Because there's a lot of lore. A lot of lore. What is so? What are you gonna do? Fuck off. What else do you want? Okay. This is a nice. 
um, town you got here. Poor Piscarilius. How long have you been here? You should know what we do by now. Poor Piscarilius is home to Kurin's fishermen and traders. For the finest port of call for any visitors to Kurin, which means Port Piscarilius is home to a wide variety of individuals. All people and goods coming to or from Kurin go through Port Piscarilius. This unfortunately means we're at the center point of the majority of crime within the city. For many years, I appealed to the Kurin Council for help in fighting the crime, but they cared little for us. Instead, I decided to beat them at their own game and fight fire with fire. What else do you want? I guess that'll do it. I'm gonna leave them. Nothing. I'm good. Please leave. Piscarilius favor certificate. Yay! I get 10% Piscarilius favor. We're helping the queen. I have something to for. We'll go to power. Yeah. Look at us, Chad. Having teleports and stuff. Doing teleporting. We're so good at things. Almost nine squids still alive. Well, Snills have missed the I've only actually been streaming for like an hour and a half. Because <laughs> it was an off stream day. And this page goes into. This other book. One of the pages of Karad's memoirs. Let's try adding it to the book. Use a boopa. I add an entry to Karad's memoirs. Which means that now I can actually teleport to Piscarilius. But only a limited number of times. Uh, shoes can go in the bank. Everything I should need here. I don't even need the Chronicle right now, honestly. This is my emergency. We're using very teleports. So here's the plan. Yeah, uptime's not true at the moment because I switched servers because Spectrum was, I'm almost 100% throttling me. We're going to go into the spooky dungeon. Because I have a shield that means dragons aren't going to instantly fucking kill me, which is nice. I like not dying instantaneously when I'm breathed on. Um, we have a bunch of cast chaos bolts. And there are some shitters down here that drop some sick bones that can help me make this number become larger. Throttling you, but that's illegal. They can't do that. That's illegal. Tell them that's illegal. I'm gonna go do what this guy's doing. But on a different world, obviously, because he's already here. The problem is, my level is, like, real low. So everything's gonna be hostile. Using that door makes the suits of armor come to life, but you can just keep clicking on the door until you subject it to your will, and it opens. <laughs> then I actually have to kill him. I want to go. I want to go in there. I want to go in there and I want to fight dragons. I can stand there or I can stand out there. Those are the two places you can safely fight the uh, adult blue dragons because they really suck at stuff and can only breathe fire in melee range. And this is the best way I know to do this. There's like a fucktillion agility shortcuts throughout the area. That was only 63 actually. 63 agility is probably worth doing at the pyramid because it can be a ton of money anyway, and then I can do this way easier. Oh hey buddy. And I'm saving my run juice because I'm gonna have like the stuff's gonna get way spookier here shortly. Let's go out, please. Pump the run button real fast. And for our first visit, we need to, we need to take a detour because I need a key to get in there. <laughs> Dungeon. I need a key to get in there. Okay, I'm high enough level the poison scorpions won't attack me. That's good because I didn't bring any anti poisons because I don't have any. Step one, get the key. I think their aggro range is one, and he turned around as I walked past, so I was within one. Unfortunate. This is what the cakes are for, so the incidental damage on the way down there. And because I Welcome am going to have to do a, to the pool. a bit of fighting. Am me the shiniest yet, Mr. Krabs? Eleven months in the pool. You sure as shit are the shiniest little squidling fapple. Thank you! For the almost a year of support, how you doing? When did you change your name, by the way? I noticed you did it a while ago, but I didn't say anything. And I don't know how, when it actually was. Not that that matters, I guess. Right, it's now I'm in the castle full of Black Knight dickheads. Who also have an aggro range of one? Or may not be aggressive. It's their own castle. 
Hopefully anyone that's in here, they just assume is supposed to be here and they just fuck off and leave me alone while I go murder their jailer and steal a key. Nope, he's mad. Nope, he was just, yep, he's mad. Okay. This is the part where I might get a little bit questionable. Can I shoot over the stool? Video games. Video games, my dudes. Video games. By the power of your own fucking seat. Your demise is inevitable. Thank you. I like health. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. Joking. A couple months ago, people already defaulted calling me Fabble, so I was like, yeah, fuck it. Fair enough. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I, too, am stuck in prison. Cast defensively. But, did you, but I want the magic. But I want the magic XP really bad. Oh, man. I should cast defensively, huh? Man. Man. Fine. Yeah, I, I need to. You're right. I want the defense badly, too. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, Valrak the Explorer. Oh, thank you for rescuing me. This cell is terrible. Hey, you know any good places to explore? Guy whose surname is the Explorer. Well, this dungeon was quite good to explore until I got captured anyway. I was given a key to an inner part of this dungeon by a mysterious cloaked stranger. Rather tough for me to get that far into the dungeon. I just, I keep getting captured. Would you like to give it a try? Sure would, buddy. It sounds great. Gives you the dusty key. Nice. Free to leave whenever, I guess. I'm out of here. Key's on the ground. Have fun. Enjoy. I'm gonna run the fuck out of Black Knight Fortress. Owie. These guys can't hit for shit. Wow, there's like 50, probably 50 million of them piled up in the doorway. They heard I murked their jailer. And off we go. Off we go. Don't be Joe and never cast defensively. Oof. You can't keep taking shots at him. He hasn't played with us in years. All right, so now we're this key will allow us to get into the inner sanctum. Where the dragons live. And then I can go fuck the dragons. God damn it, this old bastard's walking the unavoidably uh, unavoidia. I get a guaranteed whack. Bit more running through to be done still. Ow, is that stupid asshole? There's like 50 billion pissed off demons. Which admittedly, your boy here is doing a good job of being a diversion. He diverted the demons, I just got slapped by the idiot. Okay, I'm gonna run through this. Bunch of stuff that's upset. Came in combat with the baby dragon, which means the mom can't hit me. That's cool. We're gonna go over where this where this dude's just kind of chilling. And we're gonna hop until there's nobody standing here. Come on. Thank you. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Blue Dragon! Though your level may have three digits and be mighty. You don't understand how to breathe fire more than four feet. So, fuck you, idiot. Blue Dragons are super fucking bad at just like being alive in general they're they're not great at this you guys suck fun fact when you're casting bolt spells you can tell exactly how much damage the hit's gonna do because the defense xp drop is the amount of damage you're gonna do i think 100 percent of the time so you can get a little preview you get a little pre-spoiler of how hard we're gonna hit this guy yeah good thing that this fire breathing dragon's in no way resistant to fire that's not a thing in runescape my life a lot easier. That dude's good. This little fucker's getting cannoned. Is 
Neat. So uh, the downside is if this place is being cannoned, if they've ever been touched by a cannon, even if they've healed completely to full since then, I won't get loot. So uh, apparently that dragon doy was at 100% health. Had it sometime in the past been touched by a cannonball and uh, then healed entirely to full. So I killed 100% of the dragon by myself. But somebody at some point in recorded history had touched the dragon. So it wasn't my kill. Because Iron Man. It's a dumb mechanic, but such is life. That tag should probably just, you know, go away when the monster's at 100% health. But this one actually, I thought I was going to have to hop, but this one spawns close enough that I can grab it without a cannonball hitting it. Really? That's kind of a weird... I've never seen somebody cannoning the dragons in here. It's a strange... It's a strange task. Although I'm going to go ahead and just assume engine work. People are magic fast as fuck doing this. Now that we're casting Chaos Bolt instead of Fire Strike, or Fire Bolt instead of Fire Strike, oh baby, we're in there. So that means I can't touch this dragon ever. Oh! Oh yeah, it sells my water issue. Do I want this? No. It feels... Fucking weird, man, to leave the dragon hides on the ground. But yeah, I guess as an Iron Man, I don't. It's not really worth my time right now. I mean, I could use them to level crafting at some point, but there's like 27 million easier ways to do that. So that's it's crazy. I'm just throwing shit on the ground that sells for almost 2k, but if, yeah, I, I don't want it. Like, it's not helpful to me. He might be useful in two fucking years when I can craft him. Gonna bury the bones? No, I'm gonna hoard them forever. And then I'm gonna go worship the slime god. That's the plan. That's why we're here. This was gravy. But we're here... for these. These might drop law runes, too. Most, like, mid-level-y creatures just drop law runes sometimes. If they drop law runes, that'd be fucking great, because then I could sustain this basically forever. Because the limiting factor is my ability to teleport to anywhere even remotely close to this. Dropping waters was cool, because I, I had to my name a grand total of nine water runes. I'll probably end up dropping the coins, but I can keep them for now. Dragon hide because I'm a stupid idiot. Almost 100% I'll drop these coins. Alright. And while we commence the grind, come forth to me to just shape some beats playlist. Come forth to me. Of the chaos druids in the corner of the dungeon drop them. It seems like damn near everything. Again, it's like mid level -y drops law runes, so I don't think finding a source of them is a concern. It's just getting them to drop. Because it's a pretty, as far as I can tell, a pretty uncommon drop from everything that's ever dropped them. So even if that guy leaves, this dragon is forever permanently tainted and I can't fight it. Because it has at one point in its history taken damage from somebody else. More beats, please. Hello, friend. How goes? I think he's looking to do this, too. I missed the stronghold of player safety right at launch. Is it like a grinding place? Going in. Add that to my my pile. My slowly growing pile of garbage. Give me them overheads. So the dragons gets the day. Goodbye, comrade. What a nice gentleman. I should proudly throw this on the ground. 
enemies that were so weak range and drop law runes like crazy. Fair enough. 21 defense. Doing good. Wow, my defense is actually leveling almost at the rate of my magic. Because it's like 15 levels lower. Uh, magic is soon once again going to be my highest combat. Surprised like I didn't want this stuff. I had a free pile of blue dragon. Like, other people can pick this up. They want some free garbage. <laughs> I'm throwing trash on the ground. It's money, though. I'm just not interested in it. I'm gonna keep a nice, organized pile, though. So if anyone comes by and would like to loot it all, it's just nice and convenient for them. So it's environmentally friendly. It's my compost heap. It's her fertilizer. You left me last night. Yeah. Girlfriend said it was bedtime. You get the 10k laps. It's fishing. This is fishing, friend. Remember fishing, friend, from literally the first time we streamed Cassandra Lee? He was hardcore when we met him. No, he wasn't. He'd actually lost it recently. He was already a regular Iron Man when we met him. I told him about Agility Pyramid yesterday while I was doing Agility Pyramid. And he came to Agility Pyramid, and then Brent said I had to go to bed, which is why I was logged out halfway up the Agility Pyramid when we got on today. <laughs> Did they literally programmed the enemy wrong? Good. Yep, hey, look at that! Free stuff! Enjoy your candy, sir! Merry Christmas! Have some blue dragon hides. I don't want that shit. Anyway, I think they literally uh, programmed the enemy wrong. Missed a zero somewhere or something. Had ranged attack. Would only use that attack if you attack from range and the attack never hit always zeros. Oh, I see. Fair enough. So yeah, that sounds like a miscode. What do you got? Oh, axe upgrade! Bruh! This place is amazing! Hell yeah! Mithril chopping axe! Oh, beautiful! Blue dragons are amazing! This is the best place I've ever been in my life! Should've come here sooner! Fuck yeah! Steel axe days have come to an end, boys! We winter toad with blue now! Oh, that's dope. I guess it's five hours grinding those for that axe. I just want the bones. The eggs are just bonus. I just want these boners. That's all I'm here for. I just want prayer XP, dude. I don't want this shit. I don't want... This is cool. Yeah, grinding to 50 wood cutting would have sucked a lot less if, I, if I'd done this earlier. But, oh well. Like, it wasn't that bad of a grind. It's 50. I mean, it's like 87 or something. Drop big stacks, law runes, ruin helms, scimitars, good shit, all while never doing damage. Damn. He was 34 and he went there. You were there a minute. <laughs> I've gone 52, 55 there. Money is cool. Well, it's good to see our Iron Man fishing friend from the first stream is doing well. I'm gonna be dropping all these cakes. I guess I'll just bring probably like one or two cakes. I probably two cakes is a realistic amount that I should need to get in here. Because once I'm once I get going, go play legs. Eh, eh. Come by me, please. Thank you. Let's go to compost heap. I fell down a disrespectful amount of time. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's funny. Hi, this guy amuses me. He's an amusing lad. Disrespectful amount of times. <laughs> he went to Agility Pyramid at 34 Agility. I did tell him he was probably going to have a bad time. Chad had told me you'd have a bad time. But hey, the siren call of 10,000 GP a lap is hard to ignore. So, to be honest... I guess it doesn't really... We're killing these pretty quickly, actually. These are falling over fast. 
I was gonna say, I'm not convinced this is better than grinding big bones on something easy like frogs or hill giants. But these are really going down pretty swiftly. I'm packing like 1,210 more cast of Firebolt, so... Buckle your seatbelts, lads. It's blander time. Can I get random? I get surprise upgrades. Mithril Axe is sick. We get surprise upgrades. Hey, would you like more out of my compost heap? I have more stuff in my compost heap you might enjoy. Oh, lock it. I'll take anything. Compost? This is almost definitely, like, unless I get some wizardly coin drops, this shit's getting thrown on the ground. The cakes are getting thrown on the ground. Maybe one day we'll get high alchemy. Hey, we're doing it. We've gotten two full magic levels here already. Like, it's not... Let me reset everything. Let me reset everything. Reset everything. Start, start everything. Start over. I want to see what we're actually doing here, XP-wise. I feel like it's not bad. Also, we get to use this fun little loot tracker to show us the cool stuff we're getting. I did find a way to set this to high alchemy values. So even though we got a uh, Ranar weed, well, that's not actually, like, that value doesn't matter to us because Iron Man. Going 17k without resetting is not fucking bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Magic XP comes in quickly. If I get that 200 drop, like, I don't know, on literally every single dragon for the rest of the time until I leave, maybe I'll keep the cash deck. But if this cash deck's not in the several grand, I'm going to throw it on the ground, too. I'd rather have one more bone. I think we have tolerance. That's why this baby dragon didn't me earlier. The plan is, we incinerate blue dragons in a complete mockery to the concept of being a dragon. We collect this pile of shit. Right? Pile of shit's nice. We occasionally get some other things that are cool. And then we take these to the Ecto Fungus. And this number gets way bigger. But while we're doing this... That ain't fucking... Like, that ain't bad. That ain't fucking bad. Actually, I can reset all. Oh, reset all resets the top, too. Okay, cool. That's what I want. I want the top reset, too. So we get like 22 ish K magic XP. Also, get an amount of defense and eight hit points. My defense is climbing out of the dumpster. So maybe we'll be able to wear a rune. Like, maybe when we do this, we'll also prepare ourselves for Dragon Slayer. We'll kill dragons that are 30 levels stronger than Elvark to prepare ourselves to fight Elvark. Yeah, these herbs aren't, these herbs aren't staying. They're going to my nice compost heap. Let's just do a little preemptive reorganization here. Slap that dragon. Because here's how it's going to look. Because once the uh, we get out of the cakes, I'll start dropping the cakes. Yeah, we're not fighting the dragons, we're killing the dragons. The distinctive difference there. Take a second to wind itself back up, and then we'll get an actual kind of look at what we're doing here. It's surprising. Like, magic feels like it's just... I don't know. Like, the, the magical... The magic skill feels like it's a fucking cheat client for RuneScape. Look at how fast we mulch these things up, and how hard we're hitting him. My strength and attack are so much higher than this. But, like... Seven and two. It's not so much higher, but it's a bit higher. And I would just not hit 94% of attacks. And when I do hit, it's going to be for, like, only ones and twos. Whereas this shit can hit for, like, 11s pretty regularly. It almost never misses, even though my magic level is doo-doo. Like, this just feels like fucking cheating. This thing's level 111. I shouldn't be able to stand over here, slap it in the face for double fucking digits consistently, uncontested, almost never whiffing. He says as he whips twice in a row. Like, it just feels like, and then Ivan Blast has the audacity to exist. 
Which makes the situation even worse. Because I've been blasted just a fucking meme. That's a spell that takes a low, low 50 magic? And you can blap motherfuckers for 25! Spell's stupid! It's stupid! It's dumb! Even when you miss, you get XP. Look at this! There's absolutely no way I can see these numbers for melee skills. There's no universe I could get this with melee. I couldn't get half that with melee right now. And I'm also getting a, a melee. I'm getting defense trained. It's nutty. Magic feels like it's fucking RuneScape on easy mode. But our magic defense calculations in RuneScape are somewhat funky. They are. And I'll show you with the blue dragon, because the consistency with which I'm hitting this blue dragon... I won't look... I don't want to look at the loot table, but I just want to look at the stats so I can show you. Up here. I'm going to keep this window kind of small. Okay, here is blue boy. This is uh, level 111 blue boy. That's what we're fighting. So look at him down here. Look at this motherfucker's defenses. Look at this shit. Look at this motherfucker's defenses. He's a champion. He doesn't do magic, so he has one in magic. But he has 95 in all the combats. And on top of that, he has what's functionally the gear bonus. For plus a minimum of 50? To every one of his combats? He was a level 111 monster beast. He's a spooker. Let me tag the next one. I'll bring it back up. Come on. Come on. Like this dude. Oh, it's oh, it's right over the three bonds thing. Sorry. There you go. This dude. Yeah, I can't see that. That's an OBS. That's, that's on me, though. This dude's got... This right here means that he... This is level 95 defense. This is the equivalent of fighting a person who had 95, where 99 is the maximum. Monsters can get in the fucking hundreds, obviously, but, like, that's that's really high. And on top of that, he has functionally the equivalent of full plate, except it also applies the magic. His magic defense is even better than his range and uh, his stab. You know why this works? Because this, this number, even this number, barely fucking matters for your mage defense. Only this number matters. Because your mage defense is primarily calculated from your magic stat. For some reason. Adam and Fallhelm! Upgrade! Somebody fucking ding the thing! Hit the easy button! Our whooping suit just got better. Maybe we can get Eddie Scimitar out of these guys. I'd take it for free. I don't, I'm not willing to buy one, but I'd take a free one. So yeah, even though he has 90, level 95 defense and plus 60 directly to his magic defense stat, because they only have level 1 magic because they don't use it, this happens. And my potato fucking 40 magic just consistently trains 8 through 11 to this guy. And that still hit. I just rolled a 0. Functionally, my max hit is 11. That still hit. I just rolled a zero for damage. You can always do your minimum damage, and your minimum, your minimum damage is zero. I, I basically do d12 minus one damage. So, that was a miss. When no number pops up and you just see the water splash, I failed the attack roll. If you see a zero pop up, I fucking hit him. I just rolled a one on the d12 for damage. It's crazy. Need to know magic to defend against magic, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but that doesn't apply to anything else. You don't have to understand how a bow works to defend yourself from archery. Is it okay to tell Squid about Iron Man gear stats literally on the wiki? No, because I'm not using the wiki. I, I did I, I did just use it to look at the Blue Dragon stats, but it's because I didn't need it. It was just to demonstrate it to you guys. Oh, hey, Doom! What's up? How you doing? Welcome back. This is my world of Warcraft. Welcome, Squidling. Hello. To the Squiddy Pool. As I said, I'm definitely 
I'm gonna at least journal entry 37 hash. I found I'm be a collection back in of videos while in this crystal land. Shadowlands, because I cannot resist It seems to tell the lore. lore of Warhammer while doing a very hilarious what if of what happens if the God Emperor now man Emperor of mankind. It's very funny. Well, you gotta get entertainment out there, saying facts. 37 months to pull over three years. You with the shiniest squidly. I went and, uh, after you came and hung out, we were playing Diablo the other day, which we'll be playing tomorrow, by the day. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be doing more Diablo tomorrow. I got the Act 4. I'm doing good. But, uh, I went to go look. I was pretty sure I followed you on Twitter. I just never look at my actual feed. I only look at, like, the lists of, like, recent people. So I haven't seen you fucking post anything in forever. And saw that you are, in fact, still doing... Super goddamn awesome cosplay. My cosplay is very sad and make me feel inferior. But I try. And so you work for Blizzard now, which is fucking awesome! And I was gonna message you, but that was fucking awesome. But guess who doesn't follow me on Twitter so I can't message her? It's Doom! I love to see it. 12 into 11. Fuck this dragon. You're doing good and feeling my Diablo boner, so I download Diablo 3 again. I I'm worried that Diablo 2 is gonna be the gateway drug to be playing Diablo 3 again. Because I have played the decent amount of Diablo 3. Shadowlands and Bryn wanting to level, well, the opportunity rather to drag Bryn, Bryn through the OG Wrath of the Lich King leveling experience is absolutely going to be the gateway drug to make me at least reinstall WoW for a while. I'm real addicted to RuneScape, so... I don't know how well it's gonna stick, but I'm definitely gonna be playing it. This game is cracked. Look at this. Look at the engagement, Doom. Look at the, the high-octane action. Look at the interactivity as I click on this dragon and stare at it while it slowly fucking dies. I don't know why this shit anyone plays this game. It's so addictive. Good news, you can level through wildlife right now. Wrong, I can't, because I haven't played Bofa. And until you've played through the Bofa story, because that's the main story, you have to play through Bofa. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these cakes on the ground. I don't need them. The cakes can go. I'll take you so I can throw you in the combos pile next time. So our first play that we have to do Bofa. Oh, shut up. Stupid dragon can't even hit me. I'm standing too far forward, and this dumb idiot hits a zero. Bitch, I'm like naked with a bathrobe on. How the f you have 95 attack? How the fuck you gonna whiff on me? What's Bofa? Bofa D's nuts. Anyway, battle for Azura. Have any leveling experience? Yeah, but uh, unless I'm wrong. You certainly know better than me. You can't do it until you've played through the Battle for Azeroth story, right? Because, like, I've, I haven't played since early Warlords. So if I, when I get back on, I'm not going to get to pick what zone to level through. I'm going to have to go through Legion and Bofa. But then the next character I make, I'd be able to do whatever, right? That was my understanding. I'm really just excited to drag the girlfriend through the Wrath leveling experience. I think you only have to ding 50. Is that what it is? I know I have to do something. I know I'm not going to immediately be able to make characters and do it. Our first characters we make. Because Bryn's... I'm going to be making a brand new character because Bryn's never played uh, retail before. She's only played... Uh, whatchamacallit. She's only played classic. They help you level to 10, then they push you through Bofa if you're a veteran to level in normal zone. Fair enough. So yeah, we're going to be doing Battle for Azeroth first, I guess, because we have to. I just gotta want to do fucking Wrath. I'm so excited to level through Wrath again. Also, Warlords. Because while Warlords in-game lost me quickly, admittedly, Warlords had amazing leveling. Its leveling was so good. So good. I'm also excited to do that again. But Bryn really likes leveling. So I'm pretty sure what we're going to be doing is just, like, leveling a character to 60 and then probably leveling to 50 a bunch of times. 
Because Brynn just likes leveling. Brynn doesn't like the in-game stuff. To which I said, why don't you just play RuneScape? The entire game is leveling forever and then you die. Oh, yes. Beautiful XP. Hit points, defense, combat level, magic, prayer! It's everything! Yeah, RuneScape's not pretty enough. Get to play games that don't look like dog shit. Okay. okay. It's almost time to throw the money pile on the ground. Let's see. 41 magically you still using the cat as a material component for spells. I mean, this will, if we kept doing this, this is giving us a lot of stuff we need, honestly. It's gonna be defense levels I desperately need. My hit points are only 37, so literally anything gives me hit points XP I'm happy with. It's giving us magic and pushing us ever closer to high alchemy. This is giving us a lot of good shit. We're getting a lot of good shit out of this. Should use that lamp on smithing. Ah, uh, wouldn't it give me a whole level? I think crafting was the right choice given the situation. What are we at at 41? I can teleport to my house. I can start using blasts. I can start spending death runes. But you have to buy those in individuals, not in packs. And they're real expensive, I think. From the rune shop, even in Arceus. I could start blapping, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're right. I could start using the cat. I see what you mean. I should bring a cat for this. No, maybe. I could bring a cat along so I could raise a kitten while I was doing this. But some of my inventory would have to be fish. But I can just throw it on the ground. That's fine. Right, three more dragons, unless somebody drops something really cool. For the compost heap with you. Time for the money to go in the compost heap. Follow you on Twitter. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm also fucking terrible at social media. It's definitely my biggest problem of still being, like, a full-time streamer. Is that I'm fucking bad at promotion and advertisement and being entertaining and audio and you know plugging things into my computer without it exploding and playing most of the video games i play it's really a huge variety of problems but honestly like the full actual like whole ass disclosure the audio problems are fixable i can get the technology to work eventually nobody watches me because i'm good at games <laughs> nobody ever has my I am the absolute worst at promotion and advertisement. And that is a big component of being a full-time streamer, and I suck at it. You get another inventory space if you swap the cat-powered spells. Bring air spells instead. True. But even in this first trip, I've used like 400 chaos runes. 400 death runes seems like it's a lot of money. <laughs> Because I'm still going to need... I need all those to Ivan Blast later, Mancha, when they'll do over twice as much damage. Give me the boss. Steel Battle Axe. Three times the price for plus one max damage. I don't know how much the Death Rune actually is from a rune shop. I haven't checked. Because Chaos Runes are... About 99 GP from the RCS rune shop because 100 pack is 9.9k. So they're 99 GP a piece. So it's twice as much as I would have to pay if I wasn't Iron Man. So death runes are like 200 in the grand exchange. So I'm gonna assume they're probably fucking 500 from a rune shop. I ain't doing that. That's 20 casts for Agi Pyramid Lab. I get 100 chaos. I get 100 cast of Firebolt per lap of the Agility Pyramid. Almost. Get like 98 cast uh, per, per lap. This is good though. We got a new hat that I can't wear yet. We got an axe upgrade. We got our first load of bones. We got a shitload of levels and stuff. This is good times. Hell, you I sites that I want to play the pre patch for life. Oh, fuck. I might have to reset up mods when I reinstall WoW. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to really ask myself if I actually care. 
Or if I should just use the vanilla UI. I don't want to use the vanilla UI, because it makes me sad to look at. That's okay. I think this is getting, uh, I'm slowly curating the Just Shapes and Beat playlist by removing songs I don't like. I think that's going into the songs I don't like. All agreed? Good. Motion passes. That song's removed from the playlist. Okay, this goes in here. I'll keep these, I guess. This goes in here. Hey, keep this for now because I can't wear this yet. Do I have a cat? I need a cat. I should get a cat while I'm doing this. Didn't see any law runes, by the way. Doesn't mean they don't exist. Just means I didn't get one in 20 kills. We have only done 20 kills, to be fair. Does the rune crafting guide in game tell you what you need to do to craft death runes? It tells me what level I need. Though, I learned from... It might have been the death rune altar, actually. That if an altar is locked behind a quest, if you attempt to go into that altar, even if you try to go through like an abyss portal, it will actually tell you what the restriction is. So you can learn it in-game, but I don't think the rune crafting guide tells you. The, uh, the guide... Or the requirement to craft death runes is Gertrude's cat and biohazard. They just craft very slowly and don't actually give you your crafting XP. Wow, a big enough salmon stack that's showing up on the round notification. Crazy. Hello, yes, I'd like to purchase a cat. I lost my other cat, my last four cats you gave me. I just got lost. I wandered off. I'd like another cat, please. Iron Man gets kind of stuck on Chaos Spells like it's 100 plus hours. Look at Ivan's. Oh, that's the same as my main, then. That's not any... That's not any different for being an Iron Man. My main account used the Blast Spells. Until I started using Ivan's. And then went back to using the Blast Spells again anyway. Because once you get the Chaos Gauntlets... There's no reason to use Ivan's for almost anything. When you can just Chaos Gauntlet Firebolt. Which max hits a 15 or a 16. I think the only thing I Ivan's was Barrows after that. And I haven't done very much Barrows. I did a little. Barrows is the, like, for a frame of reference of how far progressed I've ever been in RuneScape. My other character, and the, the basis of knowledge I do have before we go into Total Blindness, is I, I've gotten to the point where I've done a couple of hard clues. And I've done Barrows a bit. I've probably done like 20 or 30 Barrows, Casey. Not a lot, but I've done it some. I disabled its run sauce to get back in there. So I've got a cat. I'm going to bring two cakes and two fish. I'll feed them before we go. I'll bring two cakes and two fish. Hopefully that... Maybe three fish. I can err on the side of caution for fish. Because I can throw them on the ground if I need to. I have a bunch of useless fucking trout and shit. That I kept for exactly this reason. No access to family crest gauntlets and trailblazers is going to make me sad. Why? Oh, because those dudes live fucking all over the place, don't they? I know there's one in the Alcurid mine, so you'd need desert to finish that quest. Yeah, that does kind of suck, but... I'm getting Tyrone wind, so I'll just be I've been blasting my fucking pew pew pew! Just I've been blasting everywhere. I'm definitely taking Tyrone wind, just to get the try new stuff. Because I'll be able to, with the XP multiplier, rock it past as far as I've actually ever been in the game. So I feel like the Trailblazer League is a great excuse to get to try new stuff. New endgame stuff I've never tried before. Like the entirety of Tyrone The tag is for my announcements because the bot told me I went live again because it switched servers. Service goes getting throttled. It's 9:30. I should get off. I need to eat dinner still. And I have to eat dinner. And what RuneScape though? All right, chat. Official, unofficial poll of the uh, the chatting community. 
A trip's like 30 minutes. So I can't do one more trip. It's not technically zero risk. But you've seen safe spotting the blue dragons. It's not even real combat. It's it's fundamentally impossible. I find a way to die safe spotting blue dragons. Is that a safe enough activity to do off stream? I'll posit this in the chat. I think that's fine with it being done off stream. I think it's perfectly fine off stream. What about DC? I'll still be fine. I won't even die to a disconnect because I'm not being attacked. Like, that's what I mean. It's so safe. That's generally my bar. It's so safe that I won't even die if, like, I lose power for three hours and disconnect. Because I'm- I don't even have to leave the safe spot to aggro the dragons. I would have to walk into the cave and then disconnect. Like, that's the only way. Because even if I get blapped, those guys are only gonna hit me for like 9, 10 at the worst. Because with this shield on, they actually don't hit very hard. And like, unless I literally DC on a square where the dragon can reach me, like, with, that's on par with, like, the likelihood of that is even to not paying attention to my health and dying at Agility Pyramid. I, I would file those as equally unlikely. It's the, it's about the same risk level as me dying at Agility Pyramid and not paying attention. Like, I don't do Winter Toad off stream because I, I think that's too risky, honestly. That's, my bar is that low. But I think safe spotting blue drags, pretty much unfuck upable. The only thing I'm a little sad about is I might get another couple upgrades. I don't know what all they drop. It's possible I'll get some more like minor upgrades. It's sad to see off stream. But I do, I do really need to go eat dinner. I gotta go get food, chat. It's 9.30 and I gotta eat dinner before we go to sleep at people times. So. Chat. Thanks for hanging out for another couple hours of random RuneScape. I think we were streaming for two, two and a half hours. I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna save spot some more blue drags. Get a big old bone pile for prayer XP. I will see you guys tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time. We're back here. Continuing our Diablo 2 run. We brought the fucking bone zone all the way to Act 4. So we're going to be diving into hell as we start off. Good seeing you again, Doom. Appreciate it. I miss all my smite friends. I don't miss smite, but I miss all my smite friends. Goodbye, everybody. I like these unscheduled streams. At some point, I'm just going to cave and schedule the RuneScape streams, but I'm, I'm not that far gone yet. Maybe soon, though. Seriously fucking slaps though. God damn, this is such a good song. <laughs>